Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Kaden Keown and this is Terraria. So I figured out how to make this summon a brain of Cthulhu item. It's the vicious powder is made using uh shockingly of all the vicious mushrooms. And then we make that into the powder, and then we combine the powder with something. I forget what it was. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Good purified. Mixes with vertebrae, that's right. Uh, let's go ahead real quick and finish off that. I didn't realize that. Which mahogany? I thought I had some. Oh, there we go. We don't have any normal wood. So, I did do a little bit of work prior to getting here. So, we did end up getting, in our last brain fight, we ended up getting enough uh, tissue samples to make the pickaxe. So, excuse me, I had to, like, pick up there a bit. I'm also gathering worms for fishing later. Uh, yeah, so we got enough for the pickaxe. And so I went ahead and I, I made that. Let's uh, figure out where we're going here. Apparently there's no trees on this side, so I'm go back this way. Our trees are taking forever to regrow here for some reason. Aha! There are in fact trees on this side. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try another fight with the brain. This time, however, I am going to try and do it significantly better than last time. I think we've got the potential to pull it off. Um, we just gotta give it a shot again, I suppose, and actually drink our potions this time. I also grabbed us a uh, a good food item that should cover us. Let's go ahead and organize our inventory here so we're ready to go when the fight starts. We're not gonna need any of these tools. We got our weapons. Oh, I also, while doing some mining, I ran into a nymph and killed the nymph, and now we've got our um, our much needed metal detector. Thank goodness. Builder potion. We've got our food item, which is the burger. Ah, here we go. Swiftness potion, check. Iron skin, check. Thorns, check. Areno. Archery, check. Hunter, don't need that. Heart reach. Yeah, we'll take the heart reach. Crate, that's not needed. All right. I think we're pretty close to being ready. Yeah. Night crawler, that's good. Okay, let's do this. Let's go, go, go. Get that guy because he's gonna murder him because I can't get him. So I think we're out of unholy arrows. Yeah, 
but we did get some hellfire arrows because I finished our second pit here that goes down to hell. And I definitely need to go through, I've noticed, I need to go through and work on that even more. The cutting the crimson off, because this crimson is spreading much faster than I expected it to in pre-hard mode. So we need to be cognizant of that and fix it. Healing potion. Alright, I think we're actually... Believe it or not, I think we're about as ready as we're gonna be. So... Ow! Yeah, alright, so burger, heart reach, thorns, shine, swiftness, iron skin, archery, summon the brain. Let's do this. So it looks like if we hit the eyes before they reach us, like I'm doing now, but I'm stuck for some reason. Why am I stuck? Oh, I'm confused. Okay. My character was. I myself am not. Take out the eyes. Ooh, okay. Holy crap. Holy crap. Store a higher web damage weapon here. Holy cow. Here we go. Heal that because we're going to get hurt here. Holy crap. Oh, we're going to... Yeah. This last phase always gets me because I'm, I'm... Oh, damn it. <sighs> it's kind of hard to make sure to hit him. <sighs> okay. Crap. Alright, let's run back there and grab what's left from his corpse that we, uh, didn't pick up. You know, the tissue samples and the whatnot. Believe it or not, we did much better than we did before. I can believe it. We got pretty damn close. But I gotta work on not getting cornered the way I did. Well, I didn't even really get cornered. I just kind of stopped moving, and I don't know... I don't know why I stopped doing that. That's not smart. I need to make some vicious powder. We can make another summoning item. Luckily, the summoning items are relatively cheap. So we should be able to make a bunch of those. If need be. But I want to beat the brain. Dang it was shredded to bits by the brain of Cthulhu. It happens, what can I say? What can I say, but I suck it at uh, Master Mode. I will say, though, I do prefer the Crimson, or not the Crimson, uh, the Corruption. I don't care for the crimson. <laughs> Partly because it grosses me out, but also because I just like blue. How many vertebrae do we have? Eight. We need 15. like we're going to be doing pretty good at that. We've got our three banners. 
I'm telling you, if I had that Bast statue... How many samples did we get? We got 26 tissue samples. If we had that Bast statue, that might be what I do next. Is go hunt for that Bast statue that gives... Uh, I, don't, I think it's like five armor. It's like five armor or something like that per, uh, not per anything. It's just five armor for being there. It's like the statue of a cat. That might be what we need to look at getting next to improve our situation here. How many vertebrae? 14 or 10? We need 15. I don't remember if we happen to have any more at the base or not. I do not know. Shoot these guys up. They're good and dead. Oh, and I found the stylist as well. That was another thing that happened. While digging our, uh... While digging our Crimson Guard pit, we ran into the stylist deep down in the... in the darkness, and we rescued her. <coughs> Excuse me. our way up here. I'm sure we'll get the other three murder or whatever on our way up. Plus, we can always use the cash. See, the interesting conundrum here, or not necessarily conundrum, but interesting uh, side effect here, is while we may not immediately succeed in defeating said brain of Cthulhu, if we can manage to do enough damage to get enough tissue samples, it's kind of a bitch way of doing it, but if we do it, we can make the crimson armor and fight the brain with the crimson armor and have a much better chance at pulling off a uh, unlikely victory, as one might say. How many vertebrae do we We got 13. I don't remember how much each vicious mushroom makes, so we might need more of those as well, but I think we've got some back at the base, plus we've got some powder left over as well from the last, uh, the last time I did anything. Because I feel like it, we're gonna throw a bunch of this stuff around. Make the crimson work for its spread, you know? We don't have to make the crimson spread easy, do we? feel like this for no no apparent reason. It's not gonna do us any good, really. Not not yet anyway. I mean it, it might help us a little bit at staving off the the infestation if you will, but it won't uh won't be a total cure. We'll definitely need to get, uh, I think it's called the purification gun. I'm not sure on that, but I think that's what it's called. And that shoots this powder, like, way off into the, way deep down under the ground and all over the freaking place. Throwing this powder in a monster's face or anything? No, it doesn't. 
Should have suspected that, but worth a shot, I guess. <laughs> murdered. Yeah, because see, I think we're already... I don't know exactly, but I think that was act was farther than, the, than it was before. I'll have to go back in my video and look. But the point to that is it's not good. Okay, we got 15 vertebrae. As you can see, I also took the time and expanded our our trophy room. All right, let's see here. We should have some bingo. So now what we do is we go into here. Make some cremtain. Grab more cremtain, more cremtain. Uh, we need powder. Oh, we make that at the bottle here, I think. Yes. We got 30. We got enough. Perfect. Do we have any more vertebrae for when we want to try this again? Because I think we're going to need another. We'll need another shot, I feel. Swiftness. Iron skin. Thorns, archery, heart reach, crate. That's about it. Pretty much everything is where it needs to be, I suppose. We have enough to make. We make the helmet. We make the scale mail. Twenty percent chance to save ammo. Whereas the outright uh, seven flesh grinder. It's a hammer. Meatball. You know, I don't like the idea, but it might actually... I was thinking about this earlier. I think we're going to do it. Uh, doing actually more of a mixed class. A little bit of melee, a little bit of... A little bit of melee, a little bit of ranged. Because it seems like one of the things that does tend to be a hiccup for us every so often is... Uh, we don't have anything to do close-in damage when they get in, when the monsters get into our face. It's not good. So, let's go ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it, just because... Honestly, I think it might help us out big time. And I don't want to keep subjecting all of you to the same thing over and over again, which is just of me dying like a bitch every, every time we take on the the brain until I finally get it through my thick skull that I need to do something different. Let's just skip that process and go straight to the we need to do something different and figure it out. In, in my uh, in my recent experience, it seems to be the better choice. Skip the headache, figure something else out. There we go. And I don't know if we're going to be able to summon anybody in I don't know if we meet the qualifications for for anybody, but we're gonna we're gonna go so far as to make it an actual house. One chair each, though. I'm gonna be stingy with the chairs for no reason. I have zero reason to be stingy with the chairs, but I'm gonna be stingy with the chairs. There we go. All right. Let's boogie. We're about ready to go. Oh, hang on. Ah! 
Ah, I keep, I keep doing it again. I'm sorry. Sidetracked yet again. Let's, let's look here. I think mushrooms. I need bottles. Where's? I should have some bottled water in here somewhere, or is it in this one over here? There we go, bottled water. And then glowing mushrooms, which I should have plenty of. I should have plenty of. Did I sell them? Oh gosh, all right. Ugh. I sold my glowing mushrooms like a dummy. There's a life crystal up there somewhere. I just don't know where it's at. I probably should go hunting for it, but we're full up on uh, on our primary health, and we do have one. We do have one uh, heart lantern, so I'm not particularly worried about it. How many of those did we get? Twenty-one. Yeah, screw it. That's going to be enough. Alright, so that should allow us... Yes. It's glowing mushrooms and regular potions make better potions. And then it's... Oh, it's gel and... Oh. Copy. It's gel and mushrooms and apparently bottles rather than bottled water interesting well we got 25 regular potions so that's fine it's better than the lessers so we'll roll with that Not bad, I suppose. It'll work for what we want from the brain, I, I'm guessing. I hope. I'm guessing hope. How strong is it? I mean, it's not bad. We definitely do better with our meal with our our ranged dealio. Oh yeah, that's right. Hang on a minute. Uh, go up to this thing. One bloody spine, please. Which is just a terrible thing to have to say, but... C'est la vie. The bloody spine. Drink, 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 munch. Summon. And fight with all we've got. Out of the arena. So as soon as you strike the eyes, they run away. That's good to know. It looks like we can do some damage to the brain while we're at it too. Oop. Oop. So is this gonna this this is the question. Is this gonna work? I guess it's gonna work. Maybe. Focusing, 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 focusing way more than I feel like I have to. Drink potion, drink potion, drink potion. There we go. Oh, you move and he flexes. 
Oh, got it. Oh, I just figured something out. Okay, hang on a minute. Oh, crap. No! Ah! Oh, my God, we got it! <gasps> we murdered him at the same time he murdered us! <laughs> we killed each other! <laughs> we killed each other! Holy crap, I count that as a win. I count that as a win. I don't care if anyone, I don't care what anybody says, I count that as absolute, complete, and utter victory. We crushed his ass. It's undeniable, our greatness. We were clearly more prepared for that fight than ever. <laughs> I got real quiet there, I know I did, because I was like super hyper focused on making sure I didn't flipping die, which I did anyway, but... Hit us with the good old check me out now, ma. Bring the Cthulhu be dead. Another force of evil in this world has been slain. We're on three great forces of evil have been slain. Let's crush some stuff here. On our way to take our victory prize. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually managed to do that where I've killed a boss at the same time that they killed me. What's kind of funny is I sort of figured out how to fight him and then started losing track of what I was doing and started getting damaged again. Because apparently I suck at maneuvering fights for some reason. Aha! Treasure bag from the brain of Cthulhu. Luckily, when and if I want to fight him again, I know how to make more summoning items. Tentacle spike. Damn. Ooh, a meteorite has landed. Oh, is that what the brain of Cthulhu unlocks? That does much more damage, yeah. Damaging spikes in the enemy. Yes. Angry brain of confusion has a dent dodge attack temporary increase, make confusion. Okay. It's not the scarf. It has a chance to create illusions and dodge an attack temporarily. Temporarily increases critical chance after dodge, may confuse nearby enemies after being struck. Uh, and it's angry, so. Whatever, I'll take it. I'll wear it. Brain of Cthulhu. Put our... Poof. <laughs> I'm so happy. But they're not... I don't think they're in order. I want to do in order of how we defeated them. The eye was first, then King Slime... And then the brain of Cthulhu. Well, that was an interesting result. Boarding obsidian skull. Okay. Oh, hey. That's what they look like confused. Confused. Oh yeah, 
that's right. Ooh. I was working on tearing down. I was tearing down this mountain we had built up over here. Because I found it annoying. So I blew it up. called it an ecology project and blew it up. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Catch. Catch. I also learned a new trick to make some quick cash. Or rather, I knew it, but I relearned, or not relearned, but was reminded of it. Uh, I was watching another YouTuber the other day. I forgot, if you catch animals like squirrels and birds and all that kind of stuff, and then you cook them in a cooking pot, uh, the, amount of, the amount of money you get for the cooked animal is significantly higher than if you just sold them the animal. So it's worth actually capturing animals and uh, cooking them to sell them off. Somebody who will eat them. I'm not big on this brain of the. See, that's another reason why I like the corruption. I like the scarf, the one that it mitigates damage taken, I think. Rain thing is all right, I suppose. What's that meme? It's all right, I guess. You know, I mean, it's all right. Whatever that guy says. Really exhilarating content, I know. Thrilling, thrilling stuff. Thrilling stuff, Katie, and thrilling stuff. Can't be beat, can't be matched. No YouTuber is better than me at Terraria because I make people watch me placing platforms. It's called a platforming game. <laughs> I know that was stupid. It was a stupid joke, and I'm proud of it. Embrace your stupidity, folks. Life is too short. Wah. Magic. So, yeah, so if we catch the squirrel, I'll show you here real quick before we call it quitsies. I've got a cooking pot. Good. So if I came up to the merchant and threatened to sell him three squirrels, I'd get 14 silver. Almost almost 15 silver. Now if I came down here and turned our poor little friends into grilled squirrel. Quite a tasty bunch they are. And then I jump back up here to the shop, I get f almost 59 silver. Ka-ching! Nearly a whole gold for three squirrels. Which is awesome. And you can do this with pretty much any animal, too. It's not just squirrels and birds. Though they tend to be the most common and easiest to catch, unless you're up in, uh, Unless you're in the ice biome in which penguins are you going to be your, your rapid 
Moneymaker, there's our traveling merchant fellow. What you got? Aha, uh -huh. no DPS filter. Not filter, no DPS meter. Benny Warhol. <laughs> Alrighty, well. We're not gonna buy any of that. What's this? Face monster, face whatever. Alright! Let's uh, wrap this episode up by may trying to make one last attempt at the... I think this side is the beach we haven't made it yet to. Yeah. Because the angler was over there. Spock the nerdy slime apparently is living over there. Angler for some reason. Blech. And then this beach is the one that... Oh no, we've made it to this beach. Huh. We've made it to both beaches. I thought we didn't make it to one of them. Well, let's go check out the desert. We'll spend a few minutes uh, exploring the desert before we call it quits for today. Grab some dragonflies. Ah, the sound of suffering is what the, that is. Desert can kiss my ass. <laughs> Just in its entirety. Alright, let's do some. Here we go. I volunteered for this like some foolish fool. I don't know why. So, what we're looking for is the Bast statue, basically, is what we're looking for. And if I'm not mistaken, I think you find it specifically in houses, desert houses. Follow me all the way down here for the murder. There you go. Murdered. Brutally. Viciously. A vile murderer. Ooh, hello. What do we got going on down there? Oh, the unconscious man. I don't know what that means. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the tavern? That's the tavern key. I remember that dude. He does the old one's army. If I remember, that's kind of a pain in the ass thing to deal with. Oh, but he sells, wait a minute, I think he's the guy that sells ale, which means we can make the Molotov cocktails. That I wanted to make for the brain of Cthulhu fight that I couldn't. Interesting. He could very easily be worth more than I originally anticipated. I should have cleared my inventory before coming here. I think he sells... Okay. Currency for the tavern keep. Yeah, he sells ale. There we go. Cool. Let's just sell off these. We don't need... We don't really need them. We can do without them. Cool, cool. 
Now, unfortunately, because he's standing right there, I think we're about to blow his ass up because I'm doing this. Ooh, that's not what I want to do. What button is it that I'm looking for? It is E. That is the button that I intended to press. And that almost killed me. Whew. All right, let's have a look deeper here. We got the tip. Ouch. I confuse all enemies when I take damage, even if it's not them doing it. That's interesting. All right. The cost to benefit ratio of the... Oh, hey, here we are. Cost to benefit ratio of the... Ouch. Of the... Uh, brain thing is starting to go up. And we've got it's the ancient chisel. I was just talking to my brother about that. Increases mining speed. Yes, please. I was just talking to my brother Andrew about that. He was mentioning that there's a uh, that there was an ancient chisel item that I was not getting, and I was like, oh, okay, I gotta look for that. And he said it was going to be here in the desert. Look at that, look at that bum actually telling me the truth. Good on him. Truly good on him. Alright, so... I got rid of my light sources, that wasn't smart. I'm just gonna drop a bomb down there and let it blow up whatever's there and I'll kill what's left. That plan worked beautifully. But unfortunately, with all that, I'm still. So there's a life crystal nearby. I don't. Would it be in a chest or would it be out in the world, the statue? I don't know. My money is on it being in the chest. But sometimes that stuff would be out in the world. If you know what I mean. Silver detected. It's probably this. No, that's iron. There's gold nearby. I mean, the strategy is working, right? Dynamite the shit out of the enemy. There we go. Oh crap, they, some of them survived. Holy. Resilient little buggers. Alright, there we go. <laughs> this is why I don't like the desert. Holy crap. A chest detected nearby. So this way is the life crystal, I'm guessing. Based on context clues. And I know the life crystal is going to be out in the open, it's not going to be in a chest. Die, damn you! My aim would improve. I might actually be able to kill these things easier. Ooh, more scare bombs. Cool. Okay, so there's a house down there. That might be... That might be the location of the chest that it's indicating as well. It's probably the likely concept there, I would imagine. Life's crystal still eluding me, though. I don't know. Ah, oh, okay. Death 
has occurred to the enemy. Still don't see that life crystal, but this is where the chest is. So, we'll... so what do we got? Shurikens can go away. Danger sense, we drink that. Gills potions, I suppose we'll keep. Uh, we we'll need more of those. I should have some of those in my inventory somewhere. Oh, come on, I know I picked some up. Gold. Oh, come on, where are they? Why am I not seeing them? Oh, there we go. Danger sense potions not working very well on those flying buggers. <coughs> Excuse me. Snake charmer flute summons. Oh, interesting. I've yet again been confused. Uh, well, we don't need flaming arrows, so we can get rid of those. Nearby. Danger sense night owl. I'm almost Ah, let's just go home. Let's just go home. We'll stack stuff into the chest and figure it out later. Bum's house. We'll make this guy feel truly treasured. He'll be the guy that stores all of our statues and all of our Statues and all of our uh, gravestones. That's a statue. That's a statue. You're really special to us. Yes, we treasure you, you gigantic, you gigantic bastard. For no other reason than I feel like it. We appreciate you. Here's your statues and your tombstones. Enjoy. How did you get done? One neat thing about having a platform like we do is now we get to just run along it and collect stars. When they fall. allows us to amass a large collection of jester arrows, which are, they're pretty nice. I like jester arrows. Uh, we put down, yeah, we put down our reward. Okay. I like them for the penetration value that they have and a bunch of other stuff. Platinum chandelier. Oh, excuse me. Oh, good Lord. Why do I keep doing, why do I keep hiccuping like that? It's a very painful way to hiccup. It's not fun. Let's do our extract nader stuff. Get our money.
<laughs> All right. Well, here we are, folks. We've defeated the brain of Cthulhu. Or if you want to be weird with it, the brain of Cthulhu. We have now moved on to the next stage of our armor development. We now have Crimson Armor. <laughs> With our Crimson Cloak, we look fantastic, do we not? Let's go ahead and get the money return on our old armor. Get rid of copper. And, uh... Oh, where did our little thing go? <gasps> hey, look at our little dinosaur! Oh, I like it! Okay, now that's a pet we'll keep. That's a pet we'll keep. Sell a bunch of stuff we don't really need. We got a little dinosaur who apparently has a flying pterodactyl buddy that'll carry him for us. How cute. <laughs> Quite a satisfying ending to this episode, I'd say. Alright. Thank you all for watching. I've been Katie and Keon. The next episode, I think we're going to go into the snow biome and build an arena and maybe take on the deer clops. That might be, I think, our next fight. After I do maybe a little bit more uh, preparation, I'm going to try and go find the Bast statue and I will... Uh, I'll see you all again in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.